Central Baptist family. I trust that uh, you guys are doing well during this lockdown season. I hope that in some way or form, God continues to be encouraging you all to continue to hope, continue to trust, and continue to believe that He is at work working out all things for His good purposes. And so, um, yeah, I just hope that all of you are keeping well. Um, today, our verse is going to be in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18 to 20. I'm not going to read the whole verse. I'm just going to focus on the key verse. Um, and I hope that this, this section really where Paul is encouraging Timothy to hold on, to fight the good fight of faith, which I think is so um, relevant for us today. Um, there's much uncertainty with regards to what life is going to look like beyond the lockdown. Everyone is hoping that the lockdown is coming to an end sometime soon. And, uh, and we are all just wondering what is life going to be like on the other side of this lockdown? How much will this season of our lives be affected by this virus? Is it till the end of the year? We don't know, but one thing we can do is fight to the good fight. So uh, read with me verse 19. So Paul is charging Timothy here, saying, holding on, holding faith and good conscience by rejecting this, some have made shipwreck of their faith. Just so far, just focusing on that key verse there. Paul is encouraging Timothy in his leadership of the church to fight the good fight. Uh, the NIV says fight the good fight. The ESV says wage the good warfare. So if you read the passage, you'll see that Paul is encouraging Timothy to fight. And this is an active thing. Um, Paul is encouraging Timothy to actively wage the war of persevering in faith. And this can be such, and this is an encouragement even for us in this season. Now, Paul here is encouraging Timothy to be faithful in his responsibility as a leader of the church. And his encouragement is twofold. It's both an encouragement and a warning. He warns Timothy. Timothy, wage that good war, be faithful. And at the same time, he warns them. Some who have shipwrecked their faith um, have disregarded this. They have not waged the good war. They have not held on to their faith with a good conscience. And he makes an example of um, Hermeneus and Alexander. And he says he has essentially disciplined them uh, when he says that he has, um, he has handed them over to Satan that they may learn not to blaspheme. Paul, Paul is saying that he has Discipline them, discipline them and allow them to go out into the realm of Satan, to go outside the church where Christ is and to be in the realm of the world where Satan is. And so he's disciplined them because they have not held on to their faith. And he's encouraging Timothy, Timothy, hold on to your faith. Wage that good war, actively be intentional. And I just want to encourage us all in this season, let us be active, let us be intentional, let us be continuing to go back to the rock our Lord, our Jesus Christ, and let us hold on. We don't know, no one knows what life is going to look like on the other side of this lockdown for our country. And we are hoping and are trusting in God. Let us keep on waging that war. Let us keep on fighting the good fight of faith. May you be blessed today.